Wisconsin has one of the highest rates of drunk driving in the United States, but one assembly candidate is determined to fix that. It's hard. You know, there, there, there are a lot of people that are uh, okay with the status quo. For Anderson, the issue is close to home. In 2010, a drunk driving accident killed both his parents, his brother, and left him paralyzed from the neck down. My health insurance company said, we're going to kick you off because you're too expensive. But it was a few days after that that we got another letter saying that uh, the provisions of the Affordable Care Act have kicked in that got rid of those lifetime maximums. Good public policy doesn't happen by accident. I would say that was the seed of me running for office. One expert says the problem is the laws in the state are too lenient. The glaring difference between Wisconsin and, and all other states is that Wisconsin currently is the only state in the United States where first offense drunk driving is not a crime. A budget analyst says these laws haven't been changed partly because it would cause overcrowding in Wisconsin's prisons, a financial burden to the state. But there is also another reason. Organizations that lobby for alcohol, for, for groups that sell alcohol, have a really strong political presence in the capital. So, um, you know, the reality is I think that probably has a lot to do with it. Despite the roadblocks, Anderson says assembly members on both sides want to see drunk driving reform. He says laws need to be stricter, and he plans to implement rehabilitation programs for repeat offenders and early education to prevent more arrests. If I could use my story, my personal experience to try to share you know, with people what the real damage is, what it's like going through what I went through, and if we could help alleviate that, or at least reduce the numbers of that happening, um, I'm more than happy to do it. If elected, Anderson will take office in the first week of January. As an assembly member, he says he wants to find solutions to the issue of drunk driving without raising taxes. For the Badger Report, I'm Helen Matsumoto.